Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I am Coach Sherry, and welcome to my team. This episode, I'm going to share the four top reasons why cotton is important, as well as give you some past and present history on cotton. Before I begin, I want you to leave a comment and share with me your thoughts around cotton. You know, have you ever been to a cotton field What are your feelings about it? I know that cotton definitely generates certain feelings around um, the idea of it, the past history from it. And I just want you to take this time to share with me what are your feelings and your emotions around cotton. I just so happen to be in Southern Virginia and it has been harvest time at the cotton field. So this cotton field has already been harvested and I decided to take a video of it in case some of you may not have seen a cotton field up close. And in some cases, looking at it through a video will be vicariously being there as well. So I wanted to um, share this through my point of view. Cotton is the number 13 most valuable crop in the state of Virginia, generating over $45 million in sales. Nearly 100,000 acres are harvested each year in Virginia. However, in the United States, the total cotton acreage is nearly 9 million. A little history on cotton. Arab merchants brought cotton cloth to Europe around 800 AD. Now, cotton was first found in Africa a little before 800 AD, then China and South America. Christopher Columbus found cotton growing in the Bahama Islands in 1492. By 1500, cotton was known throughout the world, and it is believed cotton seeds were planted in Florida in 1556 and then in Virginia in 1607. Here are the top four reasons why cotton is important. Number one, it is the most widespread profitable non-food crop in the world. Number two, its production provides income for more than 250 million people worldwide. Number three, the business of cotton employs almost 7% of all labor in developing countries. And number four, approximately half of all textiles are made of cotton. Now the top two producers of cotton around the world are number one, India, then China. In the United States, the top producing states are number one, Texas, then Georgia, Mississippi, and Arkansas. Cotton is often not looked upon favorably from those whose ancestors worked the cotton fields. Cotton picking was a labor intensive business and the large number of workers required to grow and harvest cotton came from slave labor and after the American Civil War came from sharecropping. Now for me personally, I know that my ancestors were slaves and so nine times out of 10, they definitely worked in cotton fields. And for me also, my father growing up in Southern Virginia was a sharecropper. So as a young man, and even as a boy, he worked in the fields picking cotton and tobacco, vegetables, just everything to help bring money into his family. Often he had to miss days of school to do this work. It was very labor intensive even back then. In the early 1950s, the mechanical cotton pickers were manufactured and made available. The cotton picker was invented due to the Industrial Revolution and the Great Migration. My father was part of that Great Migration, moving to New Jersey in the late 1950s. And so the cotton picking machine had come along shortly before he left. Today, you have to get up early in the morning to see the machines harvest the crops. No longer do you see people out in the field from sunrise to sunset. I hope you enjoyed the information that was shared with you in this episode about cotton. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. And until we speak again, remain safe. Continue to watch and listen to the sounds of nature. There were so many bugs and things that you can hear, but it's, it's all good. This is Southern Virginia.